Welcome to Mind Flows. Today, we'll go over the bug SKU template. With this kind of template, we will be able to keep track of all issues in one location, see the overall picture, and quickly determine what is stuck and what has already gone into production. Our team will be able to add, change, and assign bugs with ease, and we'll have a clear understanding of the various bug status. So let's get going. In order to use this template, we need to install bugs queue from the template center. Each group represents a stage in the life cycle of a bug on this board, and whenever we wanted to add another group, we click this add new group right here on the bottom part. These are all the bugs that have been submitted either directly to the board or via the bug reporting form. Each needed information should be filled out on this form. Some issues reported need a video or photo uploaded, and info with an asterisk sign like this is required to be filled out. To share this form with external members, simply click the share form found in the upper right of the screen, copy the link, and send it out to external members. Now, this is how it will look when the link form is open. Let's try to report an issue about a link that we cannot access. Let's fill out the bug title and the bug description. Let us save trying to upload any file next and hit submit button. We will then know that our report has been successfully submitted when we are directed to this pop-up message. We can choose to either submit another issue or close the tab. Let's see how the board looks when populated with another bug. As we can see, automatically the information we have filled out from the form is now on our board, and a reporter has been assigned to the people column. The developer is empty for now. Report date was filled out with the date of when the bug was reported. The time tracker has already started running. The status was directly set to awaiting review. We can set the priority status to medium. and the source status to in-house. We can also add a file in this column. Then, we can also see all other details here as well. Let's assign a developer for this bug and assume that the developer has already been notified. Let's set the status to ready for dev. The bug will then move to the group called development work. Thanks to automations, we can also communicate with the developer or other team members through the update section. All we have to do is click the plus sign next to the bug item name and start a conversation. Easy, right? When the bug has been fixed, we can the status to code fix. If we want a certain action to trigger, we can either duplicate an automation recipe to any of these pre-built automations or create our own by clicking the add new automation. Lastly, this template is the bugs inside view. The bugs insights view is where the dashboard of the main tables dot are being uniquely displayed as charts through multiple widgets. We can add more widgets if we want and customize them through the settings. Choose a type of chart and some other options on how you want a specific chart to display data. The best approach to keep everyone informed is to use a single tool. Use this bugs queue template from monday.com to handle all of your demands rather than switching between separate ones to manage bugs, scrum boards, and a product roadmap. Thanks for today, and we hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Follow us for more content about business digitalization. We're MindFlows, certified monday.com partner.